guys, um, welcome to the Hermon Science Camp. Uh, my son, Matanya Simcha, who's in second grade, thought of a good experiment to do because we have this machine here, which is a carbonator. Um, we use it to make seltzer, to carbonate water. Um, I built it a few years ago. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to fill up a balloon with carbon dioxide and see what we could do with it. And I told him that carbon dioxide is heavier than air. So we're doing an experiment to show that carbon dioxide is heavier than air. We filled up one of these balloons with carbon dioxide. Another one I just blew up with air from my lungs. So the molecular weight of carbon dioxide is about 44, right? 12 for carbon and 32 for O2, CO2. And the molecular weight for air is roughly 29 because uh, air is mostly nitrogen and nitrogen has a molecular weight of 28, and oxygen has a molecular weight of 32. So it makes it a little bit heavier, so it's about 29. Or so there's a little bit of carbon dioxide in the air as well, especially what comes out of my lungs, but it's negligible. So we're gonna estimate that's about 29. So we're gonna do an experiment. You guys are gonna determine which one of these is filled with air, and which one is filled with carbon dioxide. I'm gonna get up here on this chair, and we're gonna try to drop them here at the same time. Ready? On your marks, get set, go. Look at that. The red balloon fell faster because the red balloon was filled with carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is indeed heavier. Just like a helium balloon floats, because helium is lighter than air, carbon dioxide balloon will fall faster than an air-filled balloon. Thank you.